This is a camera, but it's unlike any camera you've seen, because when you twist the front, yes, it twists, it is now a microscope. And when I say microscope, I mean a very cool microscope, because it takes photos like this, or this, or this, which, fun fact, is an e-ink phone. Now this nifty little thing shoots great photos, 4K video, and turns on that quickly. That's pretty cool. Along the front here, there's also a ring light when you're in microscope mode, which helps like a million percent with taking close photos that are also in view. As a bonus side note, it's also a webcam when you plug it into your computer with USB-C. Let's take a look at the hardware. On the front here, we have a grip for all you right-handed people and the microscope, which changes back to the regular camera with a twist. Now, on the side here, we've got a speaker and a little holder for your wrist strap. On the top, you've got a shutter button. On the other side, you've got the power button and another wrist strap hold. And then the bottom is USB-C and your card holder. Now, on the back, you've got two zoom buttons and this big ol' screen, which kind of reminds me of a phone screen. You can select if you want to use the camera or the video. We'll take a look at the quality and we'll take a look at the menu, but first, figure out if you can guess what this is. This is a pen on paper. How about this? These are the fibers from my wallet. How about this one? This one, I honestly don't know. I found it on my rug, but if you know what it is, tell me. Now, the really crazy thing is that I took them all with this device and edited them in Lightroom. This device is so thin, you can take it with you in your pocket and take shots just like that all over the world. Now, for those of you that don't know me really well outside of this format, I have a really hard time with hobbies that I don't immediately start thinking of ways to monetize. It's an issue, I know, but something like this is a blast to use. And if you wanna talk about monetization, fit it in your pocket and have microscopic photos for stock sites anywhere you go, that is really cool. And something tells me this will pay for itself in no time. Because honestly, you think through your list of friends, who else has got a microscope in their pocket? That's niche enough to make some money with. Okay, let's take a look at the settings menu here, because we have a ton, seriously. From resolution, all the effects, continuous photos, which are really helpful because it's hard to get things in focus when it's so small and microscopic. Regular photos, time lapses, white balance, photo quality exposure, the flash, the screensaver, auto power off, display brightness, language, date and time, formatting your card, factory settings, and the firmware. Oh my goodness. Let's take on the most important ones here, resolution and quality. Resolution here, you can go up to 12 megapixels, which isn't huge, but honestly, are you going to need to zoom in a microscopic photo? Now, quality doesn't have a lot of options, just from normal to super fine. But when we go into video, we can have a whole different set of menu options. Now we have video resolution and we even have slow motion, time lapse, things like that, voice recording as well. So super important to mention that the settings menu from the home page is going to be different than the settings menu specifically for video. For video resolution, we can go all the way up to 4K at 30 frames a second and all the way up to 120 frames a second if we want to film in 720. So right now, we can go into camera mode and see my desk. The light is on, it doesn't have to be if we want to turn it off, but it's very responsive, again, just like a smartphone camera. And we can swipe the bottom to change the mode, all the different photo modes like burst and time lapse, or all the different video modes on the right side. There are two different ways to zoom here. The first one is with these side buttons. It goes all the way up to 10%, but I find that it's really, really slow to do like this, especially when on the screen, you've got a way just to tap and drag up to 10%. Flip it into microscope mode, turn around and we'll see everything's blurry. 
Of course, because we're not close to anything. Let me stick my finger right underneath. If you'd like to copy my fingerprint, there it is. Oh, there's something in my finger. I don't know what that is, but I should probably get it out. I'm going to be, this is way too close. I'm going to be fully 100% honest with you. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> like a lot of fun. When they told me they were going to send this to me, I thought, cool, what a great device. Good for family time, cool for stock photos. I found myself on my hands and knees on my carpet looking at specs to see what they looked like really, really close up. There's not a single person I've handed this to who hasn't started trying to see what all these different things looked like. I mean, right now through the camera, look around you and just imagine being able to see everything on a microscopic level. It's really fun and the whole world looks a little bit different. I promise I'm not being paid to say that. It's just a blast. Let's keep the fun going because I have a drawer full of junk and I want to see what it all looks like. Here's that pen on paper again. I think that's the coolest thing in the world, especially when we zoom up to 10 times. Now, we're looking at this here and saying, oh, really cool, that looks great, but the fact that we can then go take a video of it and just have that on my computer is wild. Look at that. Why does paper look like fabric? Okay, Velcro. Welcome to the wild and wacky world of Velcro. It's like a little forest. One of my favorites is the e-ink phone. I think this is just super cool. I already checked it out. Now you all get to enjoy it with me. This is the e-ink of the phone, and if you zoom in, you can actually see the ink kind of fall off and bubble there. All these millions of little dots. At this point, I'm just having fun, and I want you to see what I see through this thing. Now that we're plugged into the computer, we have the option to move files over, charge, or this center camera button, which is the one we want. Welcome to the world of PC cam microscope. Okay, now with no driver at all, this becomes a full screen microscope. Let's take it over to my keyboard, in case you were interested in what my individual keys looked like. Welcome to the world of Jacob. I don't even know what that is. That must be between something. But remember too, you can flip it around and use it just as a normal webcam. And its default here, as you can see, is actually on its side and it comes with a little phone holder. A 4K camera, super cool. A microscope, wildly cool. Having all those things also be a plug-in USB-C webcam, wildly cool. Well done to LitPopo. Now, if you're a fan of insider information, they're also updating constantly to where the quality is going to be better and there will also be a macro photography option in between the regular camera and the microscope. So the big question is, who is this for? Well, on a really broad spectrum for everybody because no one has not had fun with it. But on a more nuanced level, I think this would be amazing for stock photographers who want a quick option for some really cool photos. Uh, families, maybe especially homeschooling families who want to go outside, explore nature, take close up things of leaves and trees and bugs. I have kids and I cannot wait to go outside with them with this. I think it will be a blast. They love spiders. So maybe we can look at a spider crazy close up. This is something I would pay $150, $200 for. So the fact that it's on Kickstarter right now for, what, 75 bucks is insane to me. I want to get one for everybody that I know. Also, the memory card here comes with the camera. Oh, I should mention what comes with the camera. The camera came with a phone holder, which grips it around the side, and then this thing. This thing is a bendable stand with a round part and a flat part. So you could wrap it around a tree or you can kind of spiral it in a way that it stands up and attach your camera with the mount right to it. Now, not to be biased, there are three things I would adjust here. First of all, the quality, but they're working on that and I'm really excited to see it uh, with the new firmware update. Second of all, it is a little bit difficult in microscope mode to take photos of some things because it needs to be close and pressed up against it to be in focus. 
Uh, but by the time you get there with some items, it's pitch black even with the ring light, so you need to tilt it a little bit and then half the photos in focus. But I haven't found it to be too much of an issue. And then also the glass on the microscope itself, just a little bit weak. I pressed it into something that scratched it up, and so now all my photos have this tiny little scratch on the side of the image. But some of those things are being worked on and fixed. And again, for the price, it's a ton of fun. Great for certain use cases or just broad fun. I highly recommend it. The Kickstarter is down in the description. Go check it out.